In this video, I'm going to share with you how I managed to deploy a Laravel application to Infinity Free using GitHub Actions and FTP. So I have a basic installation of Laravel application and uh, this will be fi the final product or after, the, after, after the upload. You need to have your project uploaded to GitHub. So this is the project that we're going to upload to Infinity Free. And this project, I, I do have its code locally, which is this one. So you need to make sure that your project has been pushed to a GitHub repository. That is the first thing you need to do. When you're uploading your code to, to GitHub, you need to make sure that you have uploaded all the files in your project. That means that you need to comment out all your gitignore files. For example, like this one, the main .gitignore in your project, you need to comment everything since all these files are going to be used in your Infinity Free account. So comment all the .gitignore files in your project. So to find all, of, all, to find all the .gitignore files in your project, just go in the sidebar on the search and then type .gitignore and then make sure you comment out all the .gitignore files. Comment them out, all of them. After that, you need to make sure that you push all that code to GitHub. So we'll have everything in GitHub. We'll have a copy of our project inside GitHub. So we are going to use GitHub to push that code that it has to our Infinity Free account. So what we're going to do now, we need to make sure that we connect our GitHub with Infinity Free. So what you're going to do, we're going to use FTP for that process. Now we need to make sure that we have a GitHub workflow file inside our project, which I'm going to, you need to make sure that you create a directory called .github in your project, and then create a subdirectory called workflows inside that .github directory. And then inside workflows, make sure you create a file and then give it a, an extension of .yml, which is this one. So I'm going to share the code inside a blog that I've just created for this project. So I have this blog here. I'll leave the link in the description. So we do have that workflow file here. Yeah, this is the file. So let me just show you what the adjustments that you need to make for this project. Yeah. So we do have this file here, but you need to make sure that the domain name that you want to upload these projects to inside Infinity Free is the one that you add here. So in my case, I'm going to use laravel254.waze.com. So you need to use the same domain name in these three places. Just press Control D and then replace it with your own. So in this case, the main part for this process, you need to make sure that the server directory is the right one. And if we go back to our Infinity Free account, yeah, so if I go to my home directory, if you add a new, if you add a new domain name, if you add a new domain, you'll have something like this. So if I, I already added the Laravel to paypal.waze.com and I got this record here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the file manager and just show you something inside the file manager. If you add a domain inside the main account, it will have a new directory created for that domain name and all the files that are related to that domain will be added inside this directory, inside the htdocs. So in our case, we don't have anything and we are going to upload it using GitHub. So to make sure that you understand what is going on here, the main account is called fortunedevs.waze.com. So if you want to upload your code to fortunedevs.waze.com, you need to go to the file manager and then you'll use the main, the main htdocs file directory you lose the main htdocs directory since it's the main account but the others are just extra accounts in that in that main account so you just need to make sure that 
if you're using the main account you'll remove this part for you just remove the whole of this but if you're not using the main account just add this part so in our case you have already we are using a main we are using a an extra account inside the main one and uh, I think that part is complete for the I think that part is complete for the workflow so the, there's only one thing you need to add is the HT access file which is going to tell the server where we have our index.php file and our index.php file by default in a, in a Laravel application is found inside the public directory but if you have yours in the root directory there's no need to add this HT access file and in our blog I did add that that code that you need to use and that is this one here so we'll need to copy this code and then create a HT access file in your root directory and then paste it inside let me just copy I just forgot to add it let me just copy it and then paste it inside the HT access file so now we are ready to deploy the whole code to our infinity free account so what I'm going to do is to just push this code yeah and if we go to our workflows inside the project actions well this one running I'll just click it and now you can see we are creating the directories inside our infinity free account so let me just go to our file manager and I'll, I'll just show you what is going on previously we did have any directory inside laravel.wazi.com so if I go to that directory right now you can see we are we have started creating directories for the project so this will take this will take a while since depending on your project size this project that I have just demonstrated to you it took around uh, it took around one hour and 30 minutes to complete the deployment so it will take some time depending on your project size and there's one project that I uploaded it took around uh, around five hours it was a POS system so it depends on your project size so that's how you deploy your Laravel application inside infinity free this is what you're going to to see if you access that domain name if you have any question you can let me know inside the comment section so see you in the next one